Hello and welcome, my name is James and today we're going to be checking out the Yealink BH72 Bluetooth headset for Teams. Up front, this headset was sent to me for free, but with no expectations of review. So I will not be holding back today and I'll be calling it as I see it. This is the light version of the BH72, with the only difference between the light and the heavy versions being the support for Qi charging and a fancy charging stand that Yealink made for the heavy version. This means that the light version must be plugged into a USB-C cable for charging purposes. The street price of this headset seems to come in at around about 200 US dollars, and this puts it in the mid tier for Bluetooth headsets. So what's in the box? There is a USB-A to USB-C cable, and this version also has a Yealink BT51 dongle, but there is also a USB-C version of this dongle available. There's also an instruction booklet, a neoprene case, and the headset itself. The battery life of the BH72 is listed as having up to 35 hours of talk time, 40 hours of music listening time, and 112 hours of standby time. I've found that you'll easily get a couple of days of heavy usage out of this headset without a need to charge it, and likely a full week worth of light usage, which is also very good. The headset has the following characteristics. It supports Bluetooth 5.2. It has 35mm Ole Wolf speakers in the earpieces, a mute button, a Teams button, volume up and down buttons that when listening to music are also next and previous track buttons. When pressed at the same time, the volume up and down buttons will also manually turn on and off the busy lights on the headset. A multi-function button, which supports play, pause and answer and hang up a power button, which is flush with the headset and can be a bit hard to find at times. It has busy lights on both earpieces. It has a USB-C cable connection for doing charging and software updates. It has nice cushioned earpieces with faux leather and they are very comfortable. Its earpieces support 180 degree rotation with a small amount of up and down rotation. It has a padded headband and the headset also supports being a USB headset if it's connected directly to the PC. The BH72 also comes in grey and black versions. I've also tried the headset with Zoom, and all of the buttons work as expected, besides the Teams button, which obviously does nothing for Zoom. Now let's have a look at the overall design language of this headset. If you squint, it looks a lot like the Jabra Evolve 265 headset design. I find that the on-ear style is very comfortable in general and gives a nice and consistent coupling with the ear canal for good bass response. The headband is flexible enough to cater for my large head without too much ear fatigue on long conference calls. The headphone is fixed on the right earpiece and has a unique extension and retraction capability. When retracted, the microphone is almost completely gone, making the headset just look like a modern set of headphones. This is great for people that may commute to and from work and they don't want to look like they're about to bust out into a conference call on the train. The mechanism chosen here for the microphone is quite interesting. It pulls directly in and out of the earpiece body with a magnet lock on both extension and retraction. When pulling it in and out, you will notice that there's a halfway point where the microphone will get either pulled in one direction by the magnet or the other. When the microphone is sliding in and out, it does feel a little bit like plastic on plastic, which isn't exactly a premium feel, but it only has to slide a short distance, so this is probably okay. This design means that the boom arm could only be as long as the ear cup is diagonally wide, which means that the microphone arm is quite short. So the mic sits a fair distance away from your mouth, which requires some smarts from the headset in order to digitally cancel out background noise from the room around you while you're on a call. Practically speaking, I've found that when in a quiet room on calls, my voice quality and sound levels heard by others is quite good. However, when testing from a noisy room, the headset struggles to cancel out all of the background noise. I've tested this from a headset with the Microsoft Teams noise suppression feature turned off and on. With the noise suppression feature turned off, I would say that the headset is not great for noisy office environments. However, with the Microsoft Teams noise suppression set to auto, the background noise gets cancelled down to an acceptable level. However, it's still not in the league of a headset with a full length boom arm. Here is an example of the BH72 in a loud coffee shop style environment. 
This is an example of the Yealink BH72 headset in a loud coffee shop environment with the team's noise cancellation disabled. A topic that I've found to be very subjective with headsets is the amount of side tone that you get in the headset speakers when you talk. When working correctly, you should be able to hear yourself in a natural way, which makes it seem like your ears are not blocked by headphones. All headsets will usually attempt to do some amount of side tone, and the better headsets will allow you to change the side tone levels to your liking. In this case, the BH72 has a default level of side tone that can't be changed, and for my tastes, it's a little quiet. It's not quite to the level where I've had to take an ear cushion off an ear, but it's not great either. There are currently no settings in the Yealink Connect app to change the side tone amount, which is a little disappointing. I think that it would be a good addition for Yealink to add this in the future. One of the selling points of the BH72 is its ability to be a hybrid headset and headphones combination. So what are they like for listening to music on? Well, I find them to have a tight sound stage and to have good bass response and to reproduce across the frequency spectrum pretty well. The Yealink Connect app also has an EQ section built into it, which allows you to turn up treble, mids, and bass to your tastes. The parametric EQ is not exactly subtle though, and I couldn't really find a better setting than the flat setting. However, if you have a desire for cranked bass or treble, then this will be the feature for you. As far as listening to music goes, these will definitely do for being your commute headphones, for either ballads or bangers alike. The BH72 is rated for 30 meters of wireless range. In practice, I've tried this against a few other Bluetooth wireless headsets around my house and found the range to be fairly disappointing. I was not getting far outside of the room with the PC in it before the signal started to break up. I had a feeling that this was because of the BT51 dongle that ships with the headset rather than the headset itself. So I tried this with a headset paired to my iPhone and I found that I was getting much improved range performance. I have a couple of other issues with the BT51 USB-A dongle as well. It doesn't have a casing around the USB connection itself, which means that the connector pins are out in the open. This means that if you're not looking at what you're doing, you can actually plug it in upside down. An upside down dongle obviously doesn't work very well and could potentially damage your USB port or dongle itself. So for me, it's a bit of a design fail. The USB-C option may be better because it has a proper USB-C connector. However, I haven't tested this, so I don't know at this stage. The headset configuration can be controlled by the Yaling Connect app, which offers the following settings. Keypad tone for DTMF button sounds. Status tone type, which is voice or ringtones. Status tone volume, which is how loud it plays status messages in the headset. Smart mute reminder, which We'll listen to when you talk when you're on mute and it'll tell you that you're on mute before anyone else does. Mute detection interval, which is the back off interval for the mute reminders. Moments, which is the headset EQ with three separate saved EQ settings. So the top three pros and cons of the BH72 Lite. The pros, the microphone design is very cool on this headset. When the mic is tucked away, it looks just like a pair of headphones. And if you're traveling on the train to and from work, this could be exactly what you want. Number two, the headset is very comfortable. It has nice padded earphones that have good rotation and travel in the up and down directions. I found it to be very comfortable to wear for a full day of work. Number three, the overall build quality of this headset. I find that most Yealink hardware feels premium, and this headset is no exception. The cons. The wireless range of the Yealink BT51 is not great. It was okay if you're in the same room as the dongle. However, if you want to walk outside of the study to, say, the fridge to get a drink in the middle of a meeting, you may well get some dropouts. Number two. The background noise rejection on the microphone is not the best. When used in conjunction with the team's default noise suppression setting, it is passable though. And number three, side tone. When you're talking on a call, you get a lot less side tone than you would from a headset that has a boom arm that's closer to your mouth. There is some side tone there, but there is no settings in the Yealink Connect app to change the amount of side tone that you actually get, which is a little bit disappointing. 
And to wrap up, if you're looking for a headset that can also function as your commuting headphones, then the BH72 series is a good option. Its ability to be both a good headset as well as a good pair of headphones is really where it shines. If you're looking for a headset for a busy office environment though, then I would recommend that you look for one with a full length boom arm. Yealink have built a headset here with a specific concept in mind, and I think that they've delivered on that concept. It's reasonably priced considering they can also potentially replace your headphones that you use on your commute as well. There's also a Big Brother version of this headset called the BH76, which has wearing detection, active noise cancellation, Aptex HD codec support, and five noise cancelling microphones, instead of the two of the BH72. This could also be an option if you're willing to spend some extra money. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, hit the like button below, and if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Till next time, see you later.